Good morning. I have my coffee and I am going to read to you the last chapters of The Alien Next Door, The New Kid. I'm so excited to finish this book. I'm so excited to find out what happens. And we are on chapter nine. Proof at last. It was already Friday and Harris was worried. Zeke would be coming to hang out at Harris's house the next day unless he was able to prove Zeke was an alien. At recess, several grades were out on the playground together. I've got the soccer ball, Harris, said Roxy. Ready? Roxy kicked the ball to him. Then she noticed Zeke was standing all by himself. Hey, Zeke, do you want to play soccer with us? She called out. Zeke trotted over to Roxy. I don't know how to play soccer, he said. It's easy, Roxy said. You kick the ball to another player or into the goal. And you can't touch the ball with your hands. Try it. Zeke ran, to Zeke ran toward Harris. <clears throat> Harris kicked the ball to Zeke, she shouted. She shouted. Harris kicked the ball right to Zeke. Zeke stopped and got ready to kick it back. But when the ball reached him, it skipped over his foot. To his amazement, Harris watched as Zeke just stood, there, just stood still and lifted one hand into the air. Zeke wiggled his hand. The soccer ball slowed down, stopped, then started to roll back towards Zeke. Harris immediately turned to Roxy. Did you just see that? Harris wondered. That's proof that Zeke is an alien, but Roxy's back, what, Roxy's back was to both boys just then. She had turned to talk to her friend, Samantha. I can't believe that Roxy didn't see that, thought Harris. I'm never going to prove this before tomorrow. Harris looked down and saw the ball speeding toward him. He kicked it to Zeke. Again, Zeke missed the ball. It rolled toward the far corner of the playground. This time, Zeke chased after it. When Zeke reached the ball, he saw a kindergartner crying under a basketball hoop. What's the matter? Asked Zeke, walking over to him. The little boy pointed up at the hoop. My balloon slipped out of my hand and now it's stuck up there, sobbed the boy. There's a little boy crying about his balloon. Zeke looked up and saw the balloon stuck against the rim. I can get that for you, he said. I'll bet you can, thought Harris. You're probably going to fly up to the hoop or transfer the balloon down or something. You're going to do something weird. I know it. And this time, Roxy has to see it. Roxy, look, Harris called out. He pointed at Zeke. This is it, Harris thought. Roxy is finally going to see Zeke do something that will prove he's an alien. But when Roxy turned around, all she saw was a tall sixth grader from the basketball team, leap up and grab the balloon string. He handed it to the kindergartner. Roxy rolled her eyes at Harris and shook her head. Harris sighed. I guess an alien is coming to my house after all. Okay, it's the last chapter. Chapter 10, New Friends. Harris woke up Saturday morning and was very nervous. Zeke was coming to his house today. Around noon, both Roxy and Zeke arrived. Hi, Roxy. So nice to meet you, said Harris's mom. Thanks for having us over, Mrs. Walker, said Roxy. This is our new friend, Zeke. Welcome, Zeke, said Mrs. Walker. We've heard a whole lot about you from Harris, said Harris's dad. Thank you, Mr. Walker, Mrs. Walker said Zeke. I'm glad to be here. So, said Harris, who wants to play some video games? Roxy raised her hand. Zeke looked at her, her and raised his as well. The three friends sat down in front of the TV and each picked up a controller. This one is called Cosmic Comet Blast, said Harris. The idea is to blast comets out of the sky before they crash into Earth. Ready? Go. On the big screen, giant comets streaked across the sky. Fire and laser cannons, shouted Harris. Fire your laser cannons, shouted Harris. So they're playing a video game together. <clears throat> Harris blasted a few comets. Roxy blew up a few more. Zeke wasn't doing much at first, but soon he destroyed every comet he aimed at. That was amazing, Zeke, said Roxy. 
Yeah, said Harris. Are you sure you never played this game before? I'm sure, Harris, said Zeke. They don't have video games in Tregaz. No video games, Harris said. What do you do for fun? We race in two our Zoomda cycles. We race in our Zoomda cycles, said Zeke. We play bankas, which uses thin sticks and ten banka balls, and we make up project we make up projecta stories on our hit hollow screens. How come I've never heard of any of that stuff? asked Harris skeptically. Oh well, Tregas is very far away, explained Zeke. Who wants pizza? Harris's mom called from the kitchen. What is pizza, asked Zeke? Come on, thought Harris, said Harris. You don't have pizza in Tregas? I thought everyone ate pizza. That's definitely proof that he's an alien, thought Harris. There they are playing video games. I'm happy to try it, said Zeke. Zeke, Roxy, Harris, and his parents sat around the kitchen table. They each grabbed a slice of pizza. I have never tasted anything like this, said Zeke. I like it. Zeke, what do your parents do, asked Mr. Walker. They are researchers, Zeke explained. They move from place to place. That's why I move around so much. That's why I'm always starting over in a new school. That must be hard, said Mrs. Walker. I get used to it, I guess, Zeke said. It helps when I make new friends. He smiled at Harris and Roxy. I know what I wanted to tell you, Zeke said to I know what I wanted to tell you, Zeke, said Roxy. I'm trying out for the school play. Don't tell me that. They don't have a, have plays in Tregas, Harris said. Zeke laughed. No, we have plays in Tregas. In fact, I like to act. I have been in a few plays. Maybe you should try out, Zeke, said Roxy. It's a great way to meet new kids. Thanks, said Zeke. Maybe I will. After lunch, the kids watched a movie, Zombie Invasion from Beneath the Earth. You have movies in Tregas, right? Asked Harris. Yes, replied Zeke, except ours are 4D hollow projections. But I have to be careful what I tell Harris, he thought to himself. When the movie ended, it was time for Roxy and Zeke to go home. Yeah, they are watching their movie. Thank you, said Zeke as he headed for the door. I had a nice time. See you Monday, said Roxy. Well, Zeke seems like a very nice boy, Harris, said Mrs. Walker when Zeke and Roxy had gone. All you had to do was give him a chance. I did have fun with Zeke today, Harris admitted, but I still think he's an alien, Harris thought. And one of these days, I'm going to prove it. Zeke walked back over to his home next door. How was your visit, Zeke asked Dad. I had fun, Zeke said. I think things might be okay here on Earth. I'm off to a good start. After all, I have already made... A made two new friends. And that is the end of the book. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, and if you have any ideas for what you want to read next, just comment on this post and I will look into reading those books. And I do have a few more of um, the Alien Next Door books. Um, obviously, they're not the same one. They're different. Um, and if you want to read that, you can comment below. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.